Well, Nigel Lee, the first home defeat since you took over. What's your reaction to the performance and the result? Yeah, it's not nice. It hurts, as you say, the first defeat. Uh, I thought for once we made the substitutions in the second half, I thought we were we were going to go on and probably get something from the game. You know, Conor Jen scored a good goal. Robbie after comes on, made a difference. Uh, I should have made a change after 15 minutes, I think. You know, Paul Lewis coming on in the middle of the pitch. Secured, he's, he does the, the donkey work, if you like, from what you've got to go and do. And that then freed Regan Hendry, who was far better in an advanced position than what... You know, it's fair to say I thought he struggled as a holder midfield player. So I look at myself first of all. I should have made a change after 15 minutes because it allowed they got a little bit of freedom down there, um, their right hand side of the pitch. Ultimately, throwing, give and go. One of our players just stay with your man. Don't be lazy. Stay with your man. Hasn't done it. They go and score a goal from it. Uh, and then second, I'm just about to make the three changes. I'm thinking, come on, we're in it. Um, and. They can't score the second goal. It's one goal kick straight down the middle. Centre half knows he's got to deal with it, uh, and he hasn't done. And it's a cheap goal. Two cheap goals that we've we've given the opposition. You could see were comfortable to pass the football about the way they've gone and got the the, the the way they address the game. We talked about one or two things in our preparation for it, and as I said, for me maybe from a personal point of view, we just didn't uh, equip ourselves as well as we could have done. Um, but that's something for me to go and review and reflect on. But again, once we made the change, we're back. we could have scored in the first half as well. Keepers made a great save from header, to be fair. But once we made the chance, as I said, we got the, we're just about to make the three substitutions when they've gone and scored from the... You know, we, we, we've got to defend that. Um, but there was an impetus then. You know, As I said, Regan was a little bit further advanced, a bit more stability in the middle of the pitch, and uh, Connor Jennings comes up with a goal, and Robbie Apter gives that bit of flair. You know, a, a bit of fresh legs up front with Charlie Jolly and Harvey Saunders causing, you know, a bit of threat with his pace and he could have could have had a few. The Super White Army got right behind the players. They did. To be fair, the atmosphere was really, really good. And the supporters tried to do everything to lift the team and lift the players. Um, and ultimately, once we've scored that goal, I'm thinking, come on. And we had a few oohs and ahs. Should there be in a penalty? Has it hit his hand in an unnatural position? Yes, it has. The referees not give it. Let's not talk about the um, the officials' performances tonight. Um, we've got to think about ourselves. We said from a uh, we've got to re reflect on it. Um, and I'm, I'm feeling I'm, I'm being mindful with my words at this moment in time because it's not nice losing. Uh, again, it's first person you look at is yourself. You've highlighted you know cheap goals given away. I mean, you, you can't concede two goals in a game, can you? And expect to keep on getting points or, or to win games. There's that a little bit of a rethink, as you say now, about the, the way in which the side is set up and make sure you've got that holding midfield player which will help and release other players. Well, that's the whole idea, that the way we set ourselves up, in theory, is to try and sure shop up a little bit more. But again, we've conceded another two goals. Again, the two individual mistakes, simple individual mistakes. So, you know, we're always going to review things, but ultimately you've got to do, I keep saying, the basics well to an elite level, you know. And if we're making, if we constantly keep making one on, you know, individual mistakes, we keep, and we're getting punished for them, you know. Maybe we need a little bit of fortune the other way, as I said. You know, I'm sure it was uh, Harvey Saunders with the header, the keeper's made a really good save, and you're thinking, oh, it's a goal from a, you know, well-worked set piece. And maybe we're just not getting that rub of the green. However, you make, you make it yourself, you know what I mean? And uh, for me, and again, Maybe I should have been bold enough to have um, either taken Regan off and put Paul Lewis on after 15 minutes or moved Regan further up and taken um, Kieran Morris. So I thought he was having a good game further up, so that's probably why I've kept Regan on a little bit more. But we were getting exposed down our right-hand side. And again, maybe I should have changed the wingers over a bit quicker so that um, Woody, I thought, was doing really well, but he was, he was left exposed against a really good player. Maybe I needed to give him a bit more protection. So uh, that's, you know, I'm, I will look, always look at me and what I've got to do better uh, to help the team. Um, but likewise, we can't, you know, take the tackle, we can't make them stupid little individual mistakes that we're making and, uh, and conceding goals. We're talking about pressure on the home games. I mean, that's where all the points have come this season. Yep, that's where your points have come, you know, the seven games in it, seven points at home. And now two away games, you know, to come as well. Really to start moving away the away form and getting points away from home is, is going to be a real key to this, surely? Well, every game, we've got to view the next game, as I say, we'll, the coal lights take the emotion out of the game, on the coal light of day, we'll review it. Um, I look to take lessons, because we've got to, but then it's quickly, another game Tuesday, another game Saturday, mm -hmm. and then we've got, the, obviously, the FA Cup. So uh, we've got three away games which are going to be challenging, we know that, 
But we've got to find that resilience, that passion, that perseverance, that grit to keep going. And again, when we talk about it, we've gone 2-0 down. We've made changes. And one would suggest that maybe for that 40 minutes then, we, the Super White Army, got right behind the players. There was an intensity. There was a purpose. There was a drive. There was oohs and ahs. Uh, and on another day, we might have got something from it. So we're doing it in spells. We need to do it longer. And we need to nullify goals that we think... Come on, you've, we've, we can't concede the two. When you look back at the two goals we've conceded tonight, that's got not to do with tactics. That's just got very simple, a give and go and a, a ball down the middle. That, as I say, tactically it's got nothing to do with that. We can't concede them goals. From your perspective, does that have to be a different approach, whether you're playing at home or away, or is it just you just need to get it right and make sure that you, you do the things right whether you're playing here at Prenton Park or on, on your travels. But whatever we play, obviously we've got to be find our identity to start off with. And again, we've got to find a way to not be conceding goals. So obviously we can nullify cheap little mistakes. Find a way that gives ourselves a chance to be solid in our shape defensively when we haven't got it. But likewise, flip, give ourselves a chance to go and score. And we haven't been we have been scoring. You know, we scored again tonight. Could have had a couple more. Um, so it's just trying to set a swapping and changing all the time. There's a way to go and play. But likewise, try and make sure we're putting round pegs in round holes. And maybe tonight, I reflect on me. Uh, and maybe I've put Regan in there um, as a holding midfield player. Uh, and he struggled. And maybe, but when he went in advanced position, he did really, really well. So I've got to help him. I've got to help the team. So as I said before... Digging other people out, the first thing, first thing I will do is look at me and what I can do to help Tramie Rovers Football Club and the team and the players. Um, and I think that's the most important thing. You mentioned Paul Lewis coming on. Brad Walker not in the squad tonight. Is that an injury? No, we, we, listen, we've got 31 players. I've got to make decisions on where we go. And obviously, uh, I look at the mobility that Paul, uh, Paul Lewis, he's been out injured. Paul gives that little bit of mobility. And again, that was evident when he came on tonight. I know, listen, it was... You either like people or you don't like people. So I get that, I understand that, but I'll be honest. I'll be honest when I say things. And, uh, and Paul works really, really hard. Yes, there's things he can't do, but there's things that he does do. And uh, today, obviously, Paul made a, a positive impression when he came onto the pitch to free up uh, Regan Henry to go a bit further back. And he, you know, he, we were on, in the ascendancy far better after I made that change. Maybe I should have done it after 15 minutes in the game. You're hugely experienced, you know all about the game. Is this harder than you thought it was going to be to, to push Tranmere away from the, the, the rear end of the table? No, I said in the very first interview that I did, uh, that I did this is not short-term fixed. So I'm under no illusions and a lot of things that I'm aware of and a lot of things that I see, I know. And for me, I've got to go, OK, well, we know what it is. Can we keep improving on it? And I'd like to think in several situations we have. But again, fundamentally, there's some individual mistakes that we're getting punished for. And we've just got to start minimising them as much as possible and obviously give, keep giving ourselves an opportunity to go and score goals. You know, So um, that's my immediate take from where we are at this moment in time. And you've talked a lot about resilience. You know, It's about you, it's about the players and about the fans as well. And, and it's important everybody sticks together. I know that is. But when results don't go your way, you can understand how the fans feel. 100% human nature. You know, I'm, I'm being very calm at this moment in time. Um, there's a lot of things going through my mind. Uh, as I said, first thing you do, look at yourself. I want the supporters to, as I'd like to think, that last 40 minutes, they were right behind the players. That was an enjoyable period of time. The atmosphere was good. Super white army getting right, be, right behind the lads. First off, obviously, there's a, we've got to show that resilience. Things aren't always going to go your way. There were spells in the first half that we played some nice football. There were spells that we created some opportunities. There were spells when things weren't going our way. And that's where you show, you've got to show that resilience, that grit. And you've got to deal with situations. Uh, did we deal with them well enough? Well, there we go. But likewise, I can totally understand the fans' uh, frustrations because I share them. I'm a Tramie Rovers supporter. I'm in you know, the position here um, that I'm holding now. And there's a lot of frustrations that I've got because I feel... The responsibility. I know I'm accountable, and I'm trying to help the group. I'm trying to help the supporters. I'm trying to help the football club. You know, we're bottom of the league too, and to get ourselves away from that, we've got to cut out the silly mistakes, and we've got to have a bit of fight about ourselves, and we've got to run, and we've got to tackle, and we've got to win the first ball, and we've got to win the second ball. And when you've got the ball, can you play the ball forward? And when a chance has come, can you be ruthless to go and score? Now, some of us are doing it. 
for example, a Connor Jennings, who got man of the match yet again. Every day in training, I talk about behaviours and habits. Every game, there's no coincidence, because he runs and he tackles and he fights for the ball and he's aware of where things are and he looks forward and he tries to get on the end of things and he does it relentlessly every day in training and every match. Now, there's some players who need to step up. And they're aware of it. And we have all got to work hard to help each other get ourselves in a better situation. And as I said, you asked me the question, I said at the very beginning, I know and I'm well aware this is not a short-term fix. Um, but I'd like to think, as you said before, I've got a lot of experience of being in these situations. So um, I just need to make sure that we have that resilience, as you've had rightly said, and I believe I've, I've got it, to to stand here and to stand with the guys and come up with a uh, a way that is going to help them perform to their maximum and a way that's going to help us, as you say, pick up points and start climbing the table. Good luck at Wilkham on Tuesday. Cheers, thank you. Thank you.